Despite all of the videos I've made on telling you how to grow your YouTube channel, I still get asked every single day how to grow one and I decided that why not ask it from the people who have actually grown like thousands of subscribers. So many of you in the ERC community will know McSloth, will know OMB Gaming and will know what was official. Now in this video, I had a personal one-on-one -on -one voice chat with each of them and asked them three questions on how they think they grew on YouTube and what the best way to grow on YouTube is. Uh, and it was very, very helpful and very, very useful. So if you are looking to grow a YouTube channel, this is the correct video for you. And this is coming from the people who have actually grew a YouTube channel before. So if you do enjoy it, please do like and subscribe uh, as it does help out a lot. But let's go straight into it because this one is very, very cool. Okay, so I'm with OMB right now and I'm going to ask him some questions like what the best tip he has for new creators are and a few other questions as well and what the hardest thing he had to face while growing on YouTube was. So yeah, how are you doing OMB? I'm doing pretty well, thank you very much. Um, been a good day for me. Yes, thank you very much for being in this call. It went very long. So, my first question is, what is the best tip you would have for a new creator? If someone, you know, came to you right now and asked, I want to start a YouTube channel on ERC, what's your best tip? How would I do it? Well, honestly, my best tip would be, if you're starting a new YouTube channel, then I started at a perfect time, honestly. Like, I started at a good time where everyone was at home watching YouTube, and it was probably the perfect time to do so. But uh, I think if you want to start a YouTube channel today, next week, next month, I think the best advice would be to set out a game plan for how you're actually going to start it up. Don't go into your YouTube channel thinking like, oh, I'm going to upload every single day, but then realize, you know, you've got no videos and you've got schoolwork for the next like two days straight so you know plan out uh, get videos ready in advance and I think just be prepared for YouTube because honestly it does take a lot more time than some people think so kind of set up a schedule is what you're saying yeah set up a schedule be prepared for uh, a lot of things and kind of you know get yourself ready for YouTube because it's it definitely takes out a lot more energy than some people think yeah definitely okay um, so Someone who's wanted a YouTube channel for a while, has tried um, to do one for a long time, but has never really been successful in growing one, what would you say to them? What tips would you give them? Honestly, I'd say try something new. Uh, a lot of people find that, you know, if they get stuck on YouTube, they can't grow. Uh, uh, and honestly, it's probably just because your videos aren't going through the YouTube algorithm. So it's one of the most complicated algorithms on the planet, but it just takes a bit of working to get used to. And, you know, you just got to figure out the best way that works for you, that works for your videos. And so rework your titles, your thumbnails, your descriptions, how you lay out your videos to make sure you get your the maximum basically make sure you capture your maximum audience and uh, you can get recommended in lots of people's YouTube recommendations and you just gotta kind of rework and make it work for you and make it work for YouTube I guess that makes any sense yeah definitely so obviously we as you mentioned earlier making YouTube videos is not easy so what is the hardest thing personally that you have been through while uh, being a YouTuber like what's the hardest thing that's you know like the hardest growing tip on YouTube or the hardest thing that you face with editing or recording? Well, there's honestly a couple of things, you know, sometimes it is staying up to 2am to record your update <laughs> yeah. videos, but no, I think some of the hardest things about YouTube is actually trying to figure out what your viewers want, because sometimes, you know, you could upload a video that you spent three days working on, um, you know, you're very proud of it and you think it will get like 100,000 views and then it ends up getting, you know, 10,000 views. And I think YouTube is a very hard place to actually get to know. But once you, you need to basically just figure out how the YouTube algorithm works, what your viewers want. And I think once you do that, then that's when you know you're actually doing well at YouTube and you can party, I guess. So yeah, I think the hardest part for me is trying to see what my viewers actually want and what YouTube recommends to people. So I think that's one of the things that it will make your channel grow, but you just got to figure out what you got to do to make your channel grow. Yeah, definitely. Well, that is all of the questions I had for you. Thank you very much, OMB. And let's go on to Ruffles, who I'm going to ask the same questions to and will probably say the same thing. All right, so I'm in VC with Mugsloth right now. And similar to what we did with OMB, I'm going to ask him the best tip he has for new creators, what advice you give to someone who's starting a YouTube channel, uh, and what the hardest thing about making videos is, in his opinion. So for someone who has previously had a YouTube channel, but has never really been able to grow one, what advice would you give to that person who is really struggling to grow it, but has always had a passion to grow a YouTube channel? Um, similar, 
uh, you know, make sure you're focusing on quality over quantity when it comes to content. You know, if it takes, if you have to take a couple days out of your schedule, you know, your usual upload schedule to make sure a video is good, uh, you'll do much better growing off of that video than you will just rushing it and trying to get it out. And obviously consistency, you know, don't give up after a month just because you don't see results. That kind of thing takes time. Yeah, YouTube is definitely a thing that isn't, that doesn't just happen overnight. It definitely takes some time. Um, so obviously you've been making videos for three years, four years, longer, I'm not sure. Two years. Two years, two years, okay. Um, but out of all the videos you've made, I'm assuming probably hundreds, what is the hardest thing about making videos that you have had to face? Um, I'd say the most difficult thing is trying to keep content fresh. You know, trying to constantly come up with something new or something that's interesting um, when you've already done so many videos can be difficult. To be honest, that's, that's the hardest thing for me is it's constantly having to come up with new ideas. Yeah, similar to what OMB said with trying to keep in line with what your audience actually wants to see. Because if you're uploading videos that your fans or subscribers don't really want to see, then you're not really going to see as much success as whereas if yeah. you were doing a video that your fans did want to see. Um, but that is all for McSloth. We're going to go and do Ruffles now. Thank you very much, McSloth, for taking your time to just answer a few no little questions. Okay, so I'm in a VC with Ruffles again. So we've already done OMB and McSloth. And now it's Ruffles. So again, I'm going to be asking you the same three questions. What's the best tip you have for new creators? What advice would you give to someone who's wanted a YouTube channel for a long, long time? And what is the hardest thing that you know about making YouTube videos for your channel? So first of all, hello Ruffles. How are you? What's up? I'm good. How are you, man? I'm very good. Thank you. So let's get straight into it once again. So first one, what is the best tip you have for new creators? So to be honest, the best tip that I would have for somebody that's starting out a YouTube channel is honestly, it doesn't really matter what type of content you upload. As long as you are staying consistent with your upload, like say you have a set schedule so people know that you upload maybe four times a week. You upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. People will go to your channel to actually see your new uploads. And even better, even if you have like a set time, like say maybe you upload every day at 2 p.m. So thing, being consistent with YouTube is one of the major factors to get into the algorithm. How do you say it? Al al algorithm. <laughs> yeah, whatever it is. And um, yeah, so I think that's probably the biggest thing that you guys would uh, would need to have to be successful. Yeah. So would you kind of say that keeping on schedule is a good way to grow? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and for the advice, I think definitely being on schedule, but the more with YouTube, the more engagement you have on your channel, the more YouTube promotes your video to new people. So say that you have maybe 10 comments um, to get more engagement, continue to ask for likes, ask for subscriptions, respond personally to every comment so that will actually increase your engagement therefore basically telling youtube to push out your video for you to people that uh may not be subscribed or people that are um returning to youtube that maybe haven't checked out your channel yeah definitely so you just kind of answered question two and that is basically exactly the same as what omb and mcsloth have said kind of doing what your audience wants and make sure you're interacting with them because uh, then obviously as you said the algorithm picks up on it um, so yeah, very good answer to that one there. Um, definitely very helpful to some of you, I assume. So the final one is what is the hardest thing? Because you've done YouTube for two years, three years, maybe, I'm not sure. Um, and yeah. you've uploaded hundreds of videos. So what is the hardest thing that you have experienced whilst making videos? For me, and I bet for a lot of other people, it's motivation. So definitely. Lots of things come in an idea with that the money shouldn't be a motivation and it's not for me what motivates me is seeing engagement on my videos so views likes and comments is really what helps motivate me i like i feel if you aren't motivated to do youtube you don't make good content people always say quality over quantity but if you're enjoying doing youtube and you like what you do you're going to make quality content. It's, um, and as long as you keep consistent with the motivational factors within your YouTube career, it'll definitely help benefit you. And I think staying on a schedule is also 
super motivational because you're you wake up in the morning like okay what am i doing for a video today what am i getting done and uh, i think that's definitely one of the biggest thing and and the hardest thing for me personally so. yeah definitely i think especially now a lot more people come into youtube thinking oh i see all of these you know really rich people that do youtube videos it seems easy i can do the same but it's not that easy and if you genuinely don't have a passion for it you shouldn't do it because i almost guarantee it will not work do you agree with that 100 percent. yeah absolutely yeah okay so thank you very much for fools uh yes, for, for uh, obviously right. talking about this and sharing your tips with some people hope it helps some of you watching this um again thank you very much for fools for taking part in this video so yeah i really hope that helps some of you guys over all the videos i've made on how to grow on youtube it all kind of ties in and they're all basically the same advice you just need to make sure you're staying consistent and as OMB said, making sure you're doing what your viewers want to see. Like if I went and did, I don't know, a Call of Duty video, most of my subscribers are for Roblox. They're not going to watch it. No one really wants to see me play Call of Duty, let's be real, because I'll be really bad at it. But besides the point, it's just making sure you're doing what your viewers want to see and make sure you're being consistent in your videos. Now, if you want loads more information and exactly in-depth ways on how to grow a YouTube channel, there'll be a video uh, on screen now where you can go and watch and it will also be linked in the description as well and it will help you out so much. Please believe me, every single one of those tips in that video helped me grow on YouTube and I know I'm not the biggest on YouTube, but I would say I've done fairly well on YouTube, 60,000 subscribers and still growing. That's a decent amount, not many people get to that extent so please just go and watch it if it helps you make sure you share it with your friends as well because it is definitely a very helpful video but thank you very much to mixoff omb and ruffles for taking part in that video i really hope it helped you out if it did please let me know in the comments and i might even make more videos like this check out everything else from the description below and i'll see you in the next one bye